Mark? Was that one of possibly one of the most surreal games you've ever been involved in, in terms of uh, start, middle, finish? Yeah, it was a bit of deja vu, for sure, uh, with the LV game we had against them here earlier in the season. So, And uh, and we, we dug deep and got, got another result very similar to that game. Um, did, uh, just let me back back to that game for a second, did, did you expect that then, the start that they threw at you? Oh, definitely, definitely. We, we tried to script it like that. Um, we just, I suppose, in the end allowed it to happen, um, which was, yeah, from our part, very disappointing. And then, uh, and then to, to sort it out and come back in, in that second 20 minutes of the first half is when we start to turn it around and then obviously into that second half we, we controlled the game much better. What's being said under the sticks in the, uh, you know, in the first 20 minutes? Just to sort our defensive structures out really and uh, for each individual to do their job. And, uh, and, and then we knew we could, we could grind back in the game and uh, hold a bit of ball and, and then find some territory and, and that's what we did. We starved them off the ball, uh, found, found ourselves playing a bit more down their end and uh, gained a bit of men, momentum in the game and a bit of tempo and, and then some points. Did that, uh, the yellow card to Juan Gomez change the game or do you think things have started to turn by then already? Yeah, it certainly helped our momentum. Um, you know, any, any side that loses players uh, you know, it's, it's gonna it's gonna tell but it's up to the up to the side with more men on the ground to uh, to make it make them hurt and uh, and we certainly did that with it getting a little bit try scrum there um, on the bench were you aware of what was happening elsewhere no. in terms no. of Saracens and you know there could have been no. Saracens Leicester Saracens Leicester I'm, I'm still oblivious to it mate I, I think I, I know now we're playing Leicester uh, but what went on I'm not too sure I was certainly uh, focused on what's going on out here. Yeah, I think it makes the uh, the highlights tomorrow night worth watching. I think. Uh, yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe. I hear I hear there were some close ones. Yeah. The um, uh, just in terms of that Leicester game, do you think uh, today was a bit of a wake up call ahead of that? Yeah, it's definitely grounding. Um, we knew it was always going to be the challenge after such a high last week. Um, it's another it's another area to, to grow as a team uh, to realise that you know. You need to turn up as professionals and play play to the best of your ability each week. And we we're just a bit shocked there in the first 20 minutes, um, but I think it showed our quality to come back and, and win the game. Just uh, finally, you know, it's the end of your first season here at Franklin's Gardens. It's the last game of the season here at the Gardens. Obviously, yeah. you know, a couple of big games coming up. But now, what's it meant uh, representing the Saints uh, down here this season? I've enjoyed every single moment of it, uh, the the whole thing, uh, on and off the field. Um, you know, settled in really well, my family and I, and uh, and then obviously having a you know, well-structured club, and and that's what it's all about, is getting to this stage of the season and being involved in, in the finals, and and now we've got the chance, so so hopefully we can just uh, you know take it one step further than perhaps where guys still have some unfinished business from last year, and and really and get some silverware for for what we deserve for all the hard work we've put in. And in terms of the fans, you know, they're great today, you know, there's a great cracking atmosphere throughout and, you know, it's the thing where you really need them to step up in the next couple of weeks. Yeah, it was brilliant. It was huge for a number of our guys. Last last home Franklin's Gardens game for them. Um, who've given a heck of a lot to the club and uh, so it meant a lot to them and, and the fans didn't, didn't disappoint, did they? They were, they were superb and uh, really enjoyable uh, um, time at the end of the game there to be able to go around and and I'm sure it's special for each of the individuals there that, that it was their last time here on the, on the ground.